One year, I remember shooting my third deer. He was at the edge of a bluff, maybe a hundred yards off. It was snowing. I was walking. I snuck a, around a tamarack and shot him in the neck. When I circled around to where he was, he was half hanging over the edge, but still alive. And as I approached him, he watched me with a mixture of fear and resignation, and I wanted to say, I'm sorry. Because I didn't really mean to kill him. I, I got caught up in the chase. But there was nothing I could do except pull his hindquarters away from the edge and put a bullet through his head to end his suffering. When that was done, I knelt down beside the carcass in the snow to gut it and found myself unable to control my tears. I'd had such an incredible communication with that animal. I'd have done anything to have seen him run again, but when you're really hunting, there's a relationship between a man and what he kills to eat that is absolutely locked. It's hard to explain to people who think that meat comes from their local grocery store or to those cats who come out and shoot anything that moves for trophies. But I cried for that deer with more anguish than any other time in my life.